right? So we'll go back to um, you've done the money. Mom, let's, let's do money one more time. It's going to be a little bit more difficult, right? Mm -hmm. And just let her, let her kind of go through that thing and just say, it sounds like money is a concern. If we can take care of the money, if we can make the money so easy that it's less than your cell phone bill, is this something we're doing now or later? Don't go into the, she's going to make, because that gives her a chance to be thrown under the bus once you leave, right? She's going to make the numbers great for you. And then you leave and then mom goes, those numbers aren't great to me, right? But if she says, if you make the, if you make the payment as low or lower than my cell phone bill and you've got to give her the authority to do it, Mom's walking out with a started contract because we can extend it 30 months, 36 months. We've got data to prove that that does not increase default rate. We've gone 60 months with some patients with good credit. So we'll give mom the chance to say, yeah, I mean, if you take care of making this where I'm not stressed out and I can fit it into my budget, we are doing this now. Or she'll say, no, we're doing this next year when flex spending kicks in. I just want to know what we're dealing with. Who is this mindset in front of you? Are they buyers or are they tire kickers or are they truly on their fifth opinion and not going anywhere for a long time? So we'll start back at gotcha. her objecting to money. Okay, so orthodontics in our office typically ranges between about five and seven thousand uh, dollars. Is that something that you're prepared for? Uh, no. No? No, okay. I don't know how much my insurance covers. I mean, do Christmas and golf. I mean, teenagers aren't expensive. I don't know how much I'd have to put down. I mean, I don't have like a thousand dollars just sitting around to put down and monthly payments are a big deal too. I don't know. Uh, Okay, so um, I saw that you have uh, a nice, nice phone there, um, and my family plan for my phones, it's, um, you know, it costs quite a bit, but yes. what most families find out is that the orthodontic bill for Miss Ashley, if, if we could get it to be less than what you're paying for your family's uh, cell phone bill, is it something that you think you'd want to move forward with? Uh, yeah, as far as payments go, but what about like a down payment and stuff? Because I know obviously I probably have to put a big down payment down to get my payments lower as, you know, as low as myself because we pay a fortune for our cell phone bill with teenagers and whatnot. But as far as like, wouldn't I have to put a crazy amount down to yeah. make that lower? Great question. So a lot of our families are are very happy with the fact that they don't have to give their Good, I'm first stop one. Because we just want to bounce it right back to okay. her, right? She's giving you two or three cues of like, the down payment is an issue for me. So I'll say, I'm curious, tell me what you've heard. She's like, well, I heard I had to put like 800 bucks down. Like, well, the good news is not here. We can get it as low as, whatever your lowest is. We can get it as low as and then insert your lowest. And just get, let her tell you. She'll tell you. So just try it. Just like, well, I'm curious. What have you heard? What, what type of down payment have you heard about? I'm really curious about what that sounds like, right? Okay. Because there's no amount of data. She could honestly just be loaded. She could have rolled in on a Rolls Royce and has cash, but she's just looking for a good deal. You have no idea. And all the things that both some families have done this and some. She's going, I don't care what other families. I'm just trying to milk this guy for a good deal. So push it right back to her, right? And let her tell you, well, my friend put 1500 bucks down. As long as it's less than that, and you're going, great, because we're 500 You just want to give her the chance to tell you exactly what she wants. Okay. So... Um, braces in our office typically ranges between about five and seven thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Is that something that you feel comfortable with? Um, I mean, whatever the range is, I'm just worried about like you know the down payment and the monthly payments and making that like I said with you know kids in high school and all the bills and just right after Christmas, it's just I'm really worried about like down payment and monthly payments. Yeah. So I'm um, I'm curious, what have you heard as far as the down payments typically go for orthodontic treatment? Um, I mean, friends of mine that had their kiddos in braces, I would say like that they paid over a thousand dollars down or something like that, which is definitely we couldn't we couldn't do that. It's just not feasible. See, all right, perfect, right? She told so now she's giving you a guardrail, right? Which is absolutely great. And you said you couldn't role play. You're doing great, right? This is, this is, this is the average. She's mom. into it now. She's yeah. she's, she's, yeah, she's, she's forgot like, about the camera. Mom. She's forgot about the she's role play. Scene, right? She's getting, getting a little attitude. I this just is, like I just like that it's it's this at him. This is most moms. Not at me. This is most moms, right? This is most yeah. moms going. And they're had their, they've got a number. Every mom's got a number. Am I going to put a thousand bucks down? Five hundred bucks down? Nothing down. And if you don't get her to say the number. You could beat around the bush forever. So that's perfect. Let's go straight from that into the good news is you're going to be pleasantly surprised. We're going to fit this. It's going to be great. The budget's going to be, you're going to be, plus, if you know her number, now she can go beat it. And now you're going to say, is this something we're doing now or are you going to push off until later so they can talk about insurance or flex spending? Okay, cool. So the good news is, Jasmine, in our office, um, some families only have to put down as low as $500. So um, does this sound something that would like something that would work with your budget? I mean, yeah, it's definitely significantly less than a thousand, so I didn't even know that was possible. Terrific! I'm glad glad to glad to hear that. Um, and Ashley, now with your Invisalign treatment, we we talked that that may not be the best option for you, and we're gonna probably go with the clear braces. But is this something you're wanting to move forward with now, or to push off for later? I mean, I guess if I have to be in braces for 18 months. 
then I should probably do it now. If I mean, I don't know if Dad's gonna help though. No, but if the down payment's not crazy amount, then right might as well get started sooner rather than later, so that you're not in them after high school. Terrific. So why don't we do this, Ashley? If you want to come with me, we'll get a, two, a few copies of your teeth. And Jasmine, I'm gonna have Andrea go over the numbers with you to find what's gonna work with your budget the best, and we'll get Ashley rocking in her own. That's perfect. So what we don't do, and you did it brilliantly, is we don't play extra innings after you've won the game. Most Ouch. doctors that we watch on Secret Film, they'll get this to a yes, and they just want to keep talking about braces or talking about an expander or asking more questions. Don't play extra innings, right? In baseball, the ninth that you don't play an extra one after you've won, you just get off the field and go. So take her and go, and then now you're just going to work with her on the down payment in the monthly options.